So here are a few things that you can do through personalizations, but again, these are just a few examples. You can do more than that. We just talked about that you can change properties of front-end items without programming. So this is what personalizations is, is all about. But uh, by changing different properties, you can achieve different things. For example, by changing the default value property of a, of a field, you can make a default value appear in that field every time you go to that screen. Similarly, you can change the label of a field from, let's say, journal name to something else. You can change the list of values that appear in a certain field. You can make different values appear in that list, or you can simply produce a restricted list of values. And uh, you can make a field disappear from the screen. You can also make certain field mandatory if it comes as optional. You can also change location of a field. You can make a block display restricted results as opposed to displaying everything. And uh, you can make certain messages appear on the screen. You can add menu entries. So you can do all that without doing programming. And that is the beauty of personalizations.